Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29 back again for another indie comic review and as you can see here I have two new indie comics first is the Artists Elite issue 3 presents and that's got three stories in it and I'll be going through all three of those stories as well as um, reading the story and the art and last but not least, we have Newfink with another anthology story of its own. So I'll get things prepared to cover the, well, to cover what I'll be reviewing first, or we'll be giving the review of first, and then I'll move on to the next one. So first things first, does this cover in any way, shape, or form connect to something that is happening inside? Well, within all of these stories. Sure enough, it does, to which I give it a 7.5 out of 10. And a big thanks to uh, Artist Elite, as I have really enjoyed going through these. Uh, it's nice to see, like, a different batch of stories, and I look forward to what's coming up next. So, I'll now move into showing the first story, uh, to which I'll give my art, um, art as well as story rating. And then I'll move into the second, and then finally the third. So as we can see on the left-hand side, these are the stories that are in this. Uh, so we've got The Serpent Prince, Part 2. Uh, we have Death Watch. And then last but not least, Apophysis. Uh, to which we both get to see their first chapters, or first parts. And... Now we begin to move into the art of the first story. And it was really nice to see a little bit more happen in this story. And of course we get to see him beat up some bad guys. Give a big give a bit of a bigger shot this time around. the next lot of events until we finally finish this second part all right for this story i gave it a 7 out of 10 and for the art i also gave it a 7 out of 10 now it's time to move into the next one and as we can see here this takes place at, in 1367 in the story We see something occurring. Story continues. And we jump to a bit of a later date. Different time period. As things get a little bit gory. Uh, in, re in relation to some of the monsters and stuff that they encounter. And last but not least, the story finishes. For this story, I gave it a 6.5 out of 10, as I felt like it was missing some elements. But for the overall art, I really did enjoy the art, which I gave it a 7.5. Now, move on to the last story, which is Apophysis. And as we start to move in here, these almost feel like two separate scenes. As things progress, and we move into Egypt we get to learn that this person seems to be a part of a film crew gets to witness some of the violence that happens there definitely get a bit of an exploration of where they are in this version of egypt and last but not least towards the end and of course a bit of a view of um, what's to come next so for this story i gave it a 7 out of 10 for the art, a 7.5 out of 10. I quite enjoyed the art, and the story was a slow burn, but quite interesting. I'll now get things ready to cover New Think. So now it's time to begin New Think, and first things first, does this cover in any way, shape, or form connect to something that's happening inside story-wise? Sure enough, it does, to which I give it a 7 out of 10. 
I'll now move to showing some of the internal art around the beginning, middle and of course the end. And then give the art rating. So as the story begins, we get a bit of a uh, narration of sorts, like from different characters throughout the book. We never really learn their name or who they are or where they're from. But you can definitely see that there's quite a lot of things put in here. Um, some even feel like photos that have just been found online to show. And... But I think it would be even way better if it was actual art. As things progress, we move into the area of the discussion of entertainment and what happens there. And last but not least, now it's time to move towards the end. And as we start to move towards the end, we get a bit of a discussion on politics, law and order, and all that lovely little stuff that some people love to avoid, but also some people like to talk about. And one nice thing here that I sort of do like, uh, just in this last part, is that it reflects that there's two different views, but one thing it is missing here, just in this last part, is where's the middleman? <laughs> like, where's the one that calls them both out? for acting like idiots. That's the only other thing. So for the internal art, I gave a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the story rating. Uh, first, first um, how did it actually deal with time? Uh, we got the we got a bit of a combination of the future and the past uh, shown in a number of pages throughout this book. Um, locations weren't really pointed out, along with the cast weren't really pointed out. But apart from that, this is a very different type of anthology in its own right of stories. I do look forward to getting the trade, but I also look forward to where the next issue is going to take us. So the overall story rating for this is a 7 out of 10. And until then, let's keep it colourful. And have yourself an awesome day.